Hello and welcome. This is Kendra and I'm so glad you're here. Today we have a collaboration hop featuring Pixie Dust Designs, one of the Kendra's Card Challenge 12 super sponsors. Our team will be sharing projects made with some of their amazing products using the Kendra's Card Challenge number 12 sketches. And this is a giveaway hop, so stay tuned for details on how to enter and have a chance to win a prize from Pixie Dust Designs. Now, if you've never heard of my quarterly card making challenges, it's where you can create a bunch of cards with just six sheets of six inch by six inch pattern paper and other card stock and supplies, of course. But you would use the cutting guides and card sketches that are provided in the free PDF digital download that you can get from my website at kendrascardchallenges.com. And if you join the challenge and post your cards on social media, you can have a chance to win over a thousand dollars worth of prizes from 20 different companies, including Pixie Dust Designs. I will link the Challenge 12 introduction video above and in the description box below, which explains more about how the challenge works and how to enter. You'll definitely want to watch this video, especially if you're new to my challenges, because there's a lot of important information you need to know. Now, For my project today, I'm using the Pixie Dust Designs Up, Up and Away stamp set. It also has some coordinating dies and another die set that I'll be using. But this stamp set has some adorable images. There's a monkey, a rabbit, an elephant, and then the little critters down at the bottom that peek over the side of the basket. Uh, there's a bear, a kitty cat, and a puppy. There's a kite, a little bird, plus several different sentiments. And these are the coordinating dies that go with it that cut out all of these images. And then this is the up, up and away. Actually, this is called hot air balloon. This is the hot air balloon die set. And you can actually make a shaker card with that piece that has like a, a wider edge, but it has a couple of different bows. You can use the different pieces to cut out different colors for the tops of the balloons. Plus there's some clouds. So really cool products and let's go ahead and get started. For my project, I'm creating a five by seven card because I want to be able to use those balloons and I think they're just a little bit too big <laughs> to be able to use on an A2 size card. So I'm also using sketch number eight and this sketch features three layered circles, but instead I'm going to be using the hot air balloons. I cut all of the hot air balloon dies apart and for now they're just sitting in my magnetic bowl so that I don't lose any of the dies. But I went ahead and cut my 5x7 card base. So this is a sheet of heavyweight cardstock that measures 10 inches by 7 inches. And I've scored it along the 10 inch edge at 5 inches. And then I folded it and I'm lining this up in the corner of my scoring board and burnishing that along the edge. It basically helps me to keep all the corners straight. And then I cut my layer that measures four and three quarter inches by six and three quarter inches. And I use that matching teal card stock. And then I found this paper pad that I've had in my stash a while that's called Home Sweet Home. And it has this blue watercolor looking print that looks like clouds in the sky. So I'm using that for my next layer and I cut that to be four inches by six inches to go on top of that teal. And then the other papers are from that same paper pad, but they all are the same pattern, but in different colors, teal, lime green, dark green, and yellow. But I'm using these pattern papers for the balloons, along with some matching colored cardstock for some of the other die cut shapes. I cut all of the die cut pieces off camera to save time, but I originally cut out the balloons in the colored cardstock, but then I decided I wanted the patterns to be the same on the whole balloon. So I'm not going to be using these solid colored balloons right now, but you'll, you will see me use them here in a bit. But I had to play around with the placement of the different colored patterns to make sure that I like how they paired together. And I have some decoration pieces cut from that teal cardstock. And also I cut additional balloons out of some scrap craft colored cardstock so that I can have the baskets be brown for the hot air balloons. I didn't need the whole balloon cut out, so I just made sure that I got a good cut of the baskets from that craft cardstock. And then I just clipped off the strings of those uh, baskets with my scissors. I also cut the basket inside pieces out of craft cardstock. Since they're supposed to be darker because they're inside the basket, I'm using some Nuvo Hybrid Acorn Brown ink and a blending brush to add 
that brown ink on top of the craft cardstock. And I also cut the clouds out of some white glitter cardstock. I stamped out my images onto some Express It blending cardstock using my Misty stamping platform. And I'll speed this part up quite a bit, but I use Memento Tuxedo Black ink since it's Copic marker friendly. And since the stamps are brand new and they still have a little bit of stickiness from manufacturing, I had to stamp this a few times just to make sure that I got good coverage. And so now my stamps are conditioned and I won't have to stamp it so many times next time I use the stamp set. But at this point in the card making process, I didn't know which images I wanted to use yet on my card. So that's why I went ahead and stamped and colored all of them. I always like to stamp extra so that if I need to make a quick card, I have something ready to go. And then next I colored all of my images with Copic markers. And I'll only share part of this coloring, but while I do this, I'll tell you more about the giveaway for this collaboration hop. You can have a chance to win a giveaway prize from Pixie Dust Designs. To enter, you'll just need to complete the raffle copter form linked in the description box below after you've watched all the videos in the hop. You'll need to do this by November 25th of 2023. And the winner will be randomly chosen and announced on the Pixie Dust Designs YouTube channel. You will find the link to the next video in the hop located in the description box below. And you can also use the hashtag KCC12PDDHOP to search for all the hop videos. There's sure to be some awesome projects shared by the amazingly talented design team members. So I hope you'll watch, like, and comment at each stop along the way. And be sure to check out all of the wonderful products by Pixie Dust Designs. I have a link to their online store in the description box as well. Next, I glued down all of the hot air balloon pieces using my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive that I have in my Misty Precision Glue Press. This has a fine tip applicator, so it's great for using on small pieces like these basket decorations. And I'll put the sketch back up here on the screen so you can see how I'll be placing the balloons on the card. But you can see that I used the cardstock of that layer to cut out some parts of the balloon. I always like to get the most out of my supplies. And because it's behind that cloud layer, no one will ever know except for us. And since the basket of that back balloon will be covered up by the balloons in the front, I'm not going to worry about adding all that to the third balloon. For the sentiment, I cut out a white banner using the die from the hot air balloon die set. And I stamped the image with some teal ink. It matches that teal cardstock and the papers I'm using. And the next part is where I was trying to decide which images to use. I wanted to have a critter in both of the baskets that were showing. So I decided to go with the white kitty and the puppy. And because I love monkeys, I also decided to use the monkey that's hanging from the balloon by his tail. And when I placed the white banner across the center, it was just a little bit too white in my opinion. So here I'm just adding some light blue ink with a blending brush to make it look similar to the sky background that I'm using. Since everything is now the way I want it to be, I went ahead and just started gluing everything down and I used those extra hot air balloons that I cut from the colored cardstock to help keep the balloons level. I should have waited until after I put the cat in the basket before gluing down that top balloon because when I went to glue him in I realized I just I couldn't tuck it in because of that front balloon being in the way so he's kind of peeking out at an angle since my glue was already dry but I didn't want to try to remove it and it tear on me but I placed my stamping platform on top while the glue dried to help it stay flat and I added some foam tape to the backs of the clouds and the monkey and the banner across the middle and I'll be giving all of these pieces some dimension. I'm also using some 3D glue gel to add to the ends of that banner since I didn't have tape small enough for that. I used a light blue Copic marker to outline the edge of that banner and I added a little more to the ends to darken those up some and then to finish this card off I added some touch of gloss to the eyes and noses of all of the critters as well as to the teal balloon 
and I also forgot about the bows that I cut out earlier so off camera I added those to the banner as well and I added a teal glitter enamel dot to the banner since I had it on the sketch so here is my finished card I think this is adorable I don't make very many 5x7 cards but I really love these hot air balloons and these cute critters let me know what you think in the comment section below and don't forget to complete the form to enter the giveaway for this hop and check out all of the other videos for more card making inspiration using the challenge 12 sketches and products from pixie dust designs i really hope you'll join the challenge this quarter remember you have until december 31st to get photos of cards uploaded to enter for the chance to win lots of prizes again for more information visit kendrascardchallenges.com to get all of the details I'd like to thank Pixie Dust Designs for sending us these awesome products to create with and for being a prize super sponsor. This has been so much fun and I look forward to seeing all of the other team members projects. I hope you'll check them out too. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.